Mola. Generally. Mola, is there certain things that like will lead you to either the uh, the good afterlife yes. or like the bad afterlife? Like, is a what is a good way to be like a, a good wish for example? Oh, okay. So, Alex, if I answered your question, yeah, will you accept to be a Muslim? Not yet. Oh, uh, possibly. Yes, definitely. Okay. Yeah. So that's the concept. So let's agree on something. So if you accept to be Muslim, that's what we want. Yeah. So if you accept to be Muslim. And so we want it to stick to this, and then after that, I will answer all your questions, yeah. all of them. Now, first of all, we need to know what, first of all, do you believe in God exists firstly? Yes, definitely. Do you believe God exists? Yeah. Then why God has created us? What to do here? What are we doing here? Are we here to eat and drink and reproduce? Some animals, they do a better job than this, by the way. So, and as well, we have this intellectual ability, which is our one single decision from us that could have an impact on everything in the world. Yeah. That means our responsibility is more, correct? Yeah. Based on this, that means there is something yeah. God wants from us. Yeah. And how we know this? That God will send prophets and messengers. Yeah? Even though everything around us indicates there is God. Yeah. The tree, the star, everything indicates there is God. But God has sent prophets and messengers one after another. All of them came to convey the message of God to the people. And what, what's their message? Is worship none but God and follow the commandments of the prophets and messengers. That is their message. That's all. So that's what God has sent Noah and Abraham and Moses and Jesus and Muhammad, peace be upon all of them. They came for that message, which is worship the one God. You worship none but him, and you should not associate with Allah. Allah, by the way, in Arabic means the one God. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's their message. They were calling for this, nothing else. Yeah. Now, and as well, along with it, as well, some certain rulings that comes with it. So if you wanted to be a person who is following the guidance of God, yeah, you have to. The rule is not just only a case. Okay, I believe in God. You do you do whatever you wish. It's not like that. So there are rules that you have to you have to obey these rules. One of it, for example, one of it, for example, to be to fulfill the duties of God, yeah. as well to be good to your parents, yeah. not to be rude to them. Yeah. yeah. And as well, for example, uh, 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 as well, for example, to be good to your neighbors, to be good to the people, to treat the people in a good manner, and all of these things. And that includes as well, for example, all of us we have desires, yeah, including food, drink, for example, intimate relationship. God said, they didn't say forbid us from, from this, but God, if you wanted to eat, you eat something that's yeah. lawful. Yeah. Lawful, the income has to be lawful. And as well, the food itself, it has to be pure. It's not something which is bad. So that's why there are certain things, everything is lawful for us, except certain things. So God made for us everything lawful, except, for example, the pork, for yeah. example. That's, yeah. that's because, as it is, it's not, it's a dirty animal, etc. Yeah. yeah? And so, and other things as well. God allows us to drink all types of juice in the world. Everything is nice, yeah? yeah? But alcohol is forbidden this time because you know the consequence of the alcohol. Yeah, course, yeah, Ask the police officer on Saturday, Friday night, they will, they will tell you what the, what the alcohol is, yeah? So that shows there is something good about the thing, what God has legislated. And that as well, intimate relationship as well. So God knows that we are human beings, we desire, we have desire. But if we desire, it has to be again according to what God wants. Yeah. So that's what God made, made it clear for us yeah. to, if we wanted to have an interpretation, it has to be through husband and wife. That's how it is. So yeah. God has made it clear with this. Yeah. yeah? And along as well, along, along with these things as well, God wants us to live pure life, beautiful life. And when we live a pure life and beautiful life, that to abstain from everything that is, you know, make you like an animal. So God wants you to lift you to, to be more, your spiritual has to be high. Now, is, when you see the music, who are the best musician on earth, the best one, how do you see them in terms of ranking with the people? They are above. Above what? They're above the people. Above the people, okay. But how do you think their manners and things like that? Do you think they are like people, how they, they think that they are good, for example, as some people to demand to be like them, or you think, how they, how, how is their life? 
I think they are people that like respect a lot of other people and I think they're people that value a lot of things in life as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah, kind of okay. Now the other thing which is about this. Now don't you think for example when they go and and do this when they have these for example these music concerts etc and all of these things, how the be the people behave there? Very lively, they're very jumping around, that sort of bit. Do you think that's an animalistic thing or that's something which is animalistic, yeah. yeah. So that's part of it. That God forbid for us to Yeah? That that's why God forbid for us to do the things which is putting us down. Yeah? That's why we, that's part of it. And there are a lot of things, yeah? Let alone that the, the you know the, the impact of the music on us and it has impact and a negative impact, not like a positive impact. And you see how you see there's a negative impact. The more that you want from it, the more the more you have from it, the more you want more and more and more. That means there's something, there is kind of addiction. So people are not satisfied with it. It's, so it's like addiction, it's like drugs, like something, like you need more. So you're not satisfied, you need more, you need more until you live and die and all this. To the extent I know some people, like literally some singers in the Middle East, they have this, they put their, you know, like music thing inside their graves, like to, the, to that extent. So you see, God doesn't want this for us. God wants us to live this spiritual life and to as well to listen to the beautiful, the, to the beauty, the, the beauty, the beautiful voice that he has created. Look, we are here. We listen to the bird. We see, we hear the even the wind. All of this, those beautiful things, it will comfort you. When you go to the, for example, to the sea, you see, for example, the waves, you the rivers, and all of this, that thing bring comfort to you. Yeah, and you you'll be satisfied. You do have, and that's one of the things. Even Ibn Qayyim, one of the scholars of Islam, wrote by the about these things that brings comfort. So that's what God wants for us. Did that answer you? Yeah, okay. yeah, thank you very much. Now, the other thing. Since we have accepted in the beginning, if I answered your question, you, you accepted your Muslim. You mentioned, yes, correct? Yeah, not today. Well, one second. We'll, we'll know if it's today or not. Yeah. Don't, don't say not today or not tomorrow or not that. Today we're going to have You do when we are ready, and then we'll see if you are ready or not. Yeah. Yeah? If you are ready, you will become Muslim even today. If you are not, I will say to you, wait. Okay? Yeah? And I will be honest with you. Yeah? So I will ask, I will ask you certain questions. According to this question, I will say to you, I will suggest if you are ready, or if you are not ready, I will say to you, wait. You, know, you, need, you need to wait for something. Yeah, yeah. All right? Yeah. Agreed? Are there, are there, are there any other questions you have like, besides the music box that you said? Um, is there any specific ones you, that's holding you back? Yeah, 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 that's yeah. what I told you. I'm going to write uh, down. We, uh, <coughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so like, is there consequences to like to when you don't recite, so when you don't do your prayer five times a day, is there consequences to not doing that? Now here, as you said, we live, we live by the rule. Yeah. So Islam, there are rules. You try your best. If you didn't pray, you try your best to pray five times a day. You try, you have to pray five times a day. If you missed it for some reason, for example, you have a valid reason, something holds you or something, then you you make it up whenever you can. So there is, there is kind of flexibility. If you couldn't pray on time for a valid reason, but to choose not to pray and to choose to deny the time of the prayer, there's a consequence, of course, because that's obligation from God. So if you fulfilled it, then you will be, you will, you will, you will be getting the, the pleasure of God, you will be getting the reward yeah. from God. And as well, if you didn't fulfill it, then you will be warned by God, and God's warning it. Yeah. So there are rules, not something which is... Not there, there, is there is one other angle, just because you're young, just to touch upon it from here, just so it picks yeah. me up as well, one second. So, so what, there's one other angle, so you understand what prayer is, because the prayer... When we talk about this stuff, a lot of the time people think of it as, oh, it's a law that I have to do, and if I don't do it, I'm it. <coughs> and that usually comes and boils down to not knowing who Allah is. When you know who Allah is, dynamic change, you will understand. So for example, let me give you an example, yeah? If you saw, give me some artist, a music artist. Someone that you really like, oh my gosh, this person. Drake. Uh, Eminem. Eminem, okay, no Eminem. Just imagine we're talking now, and you see Eminem. I'm like, bro, that's Eminem. Yeah. What would you do? I'll go over and take one and take a photo. Immediately. Yeah, yeah. You'll forget this conversation, go there and take a picture. Yeah, yeah. Okay, has Eminem paid for your bills? No. Because he backed you up in a fight? No. Has he done anything for you? No. Okay, why do you admire him so much? 
because I feel like I've got a certain sort I can relate well, I can listen to his music and it makes me feel a type of way. Yeah. True, and yeah. also based on who he is. Yeah. Based so is Eminem? Yeah. Eminem is Eminem. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? yeah. He might have not done nothing for the world, but Eminem is Eminem. It's, it's this factor of um, seeing someone famous. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So now what we see is now if we're going to give that utmost respect to Eminem. And if imagine Eminem comes and says to you, Alex, you know what? I like you. Yeah? And then argument's sake, he says, you know what? I'm going to buy you a mansion. Yeah. I'm going to get you a Ferrari. Yeah. And I'm going to make sure you have a wife. Let's not call it a girlfriend because that's haram, yeah? yeah? Okay, and he gives all of this stuff. Deep inside, how would you want to repay him back? Like, what is the things that... He's not asking you for nothing. He's just giving you this. But what would you do just to show your appreciation to him? I would want to... Imagine you have his number. I would want to, I don't know, give him... As much as I could read like, Good, the good, good, good. Yeah. good The reason yeah. I put this perspective Besides what Sheikh said Which is important yeah. Yeah. Is because to make you understand When it comes to the prayer It's not oh, If I don't do it um, What's going to happen to me yeah. It's Who are we talking about yeah. Now that's Eminem What about the one that's created Eminem And every single person That's walking this, on this earth And the whole entire universe And every single <coughs> thing he knows And that he's giving you your eyes And your lungs And the way you're created do you not believe he deserves much more respect than Eminem? Yeah, yeah 100%. That's a prayer for you. Yeah. So the prayer is an acknowledgement of who he is, <laughs> even if he did nothing for us. Imagine he just created us and he did nothing. But when you look at the universe and the creation, you're like, wow, this creator, he's a magnificent creator. And would you agree that if he told us to worship him 24-7, does he deserve it? He doesn't even ask that. He wants five times a day. Yeah. Just wanted to add that on. That's, do you get what I'm trying to say? Just from a different perspective of who he is. That's yeah. all I wanted to say. So, going back to the point, Alex, yeah? I mentioned to you, if we, we will dis we'll ask you a few questions. According to this question, we'll see if you are ready to become Muslim now. But, you know, not later, now. Or we'll see, you need some time <coughs> to wait until you know better than you come back. Yeah? Alright? Yeah. You agree? Yeah. But don't feel, if you, don't feel like we're forcing you. But yeah. what the Sheikh is saying, listen yeah? to him carefully. Yeah. Because just to see where you're at. Yeah. But yeah. see where you're at, that's all. Yeah. Now, firstly, do you believe there is God? Yes. Yeah. Do you believe this God worthy to be worshipped? Yes. Alone with no partner, with no associate. Meaning, no one is partner with God, no one, no son, no son. It's God himself has to be worshipped alone. Yeah. Yeah. Meaning, I don't worship the tree to worship God, I worship the God alone. Meaning, yeah. I submit. doesn't have a son, he's not a man. No, I think he's not, he's just a higher being. Right? Higher being, yeah, yeah good. Yeah. So he's a higher being, so, yeah. and so that's that's something which you know. Yeah. So the, it's not a son, it's not a man, it's not a human being, it's not, no. you know? Yeah. He is almighty, he is the creator of everything, yes. the yeah. owner of everything, the control of all affairs, yeah. Yeah? yeah? And since he is the creator of everything, the owner of everything, he is the only one worthy of worship. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You, you accept this? Yeah, accept. Fine. When God has sent prophet and messenger, yeah? yeah? Yeah, God has sent prophets and messengers. Those prophets and messengers have sent them revelations. Like that's why he has sent Noah, Abraham, and Moses, and Jesus, and Muhammad. All of them, they were sent by God. Yeah, you accept this? Um, Ali, this, the other camera, brother. Uh, no. You don't accept this? No. All right. Now, how we know? Now, that's the question. Now, here, do you know that? For example, I assume you read the Quran, correct? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Now, we claim that the Quran is the message of God. Yeah. yeah? How we know this? Through testing the Quran. Yeah. So when we, look, when we look into the Quran and when, when we read the Quran, it will indicate to us that it came from God. Yeah. yeah? yeah. Like, for example, there are information in the Quran, it cannot be said by normal human being yeah. at that time. You accept this? Yes, I accept it. So you believe that the Quran was a message from God? Yes. So Quran confirmed that God has sent Noah as a prophet and messenger of God. And Quran confirmed that God has sent Abraham, peace be upon him, to be a prophet and messenger of God. And Quran confirmed that God has sent Moses as a prophet and messenger of God. And Quran confirms as well, God has sent Jesus, peace be upon him, to be a prophet and messenger of God. And he was born miraculously, yeah, with no father, like Adam was born with no father mother. That Quran confirms this. Yeah. Now, do you accept this? Yeah, I accept Yeah, so since the Quran, you accept it. Yes. <laughs> now, Prophet Muhammad to be the last and the final Prophet of God. That he was sent again, and his message is the Quran, which you, which you accept it is the word of God. Yeah? Okay, so then, this is the thing. So you believe in one God. 
you believe Muhammad, peace be upon him, to be a prophet and messenger of God, correct? Yes. And Jesus to be a prophet and messenger of God, yeah? Yes. All right. That means, brother, you are Muslim and you are ready to be Muslim. Yes. Now, not, not later on. Yeah? Not later on, not tomorrow, not today. Because you're ready technically. Yeah. You're Muslim. You belong to Islam from with this faith that you mentioned. Yeah. All what you need to do to do the official steps the is the shahada. Is yeah. to say a testimony to say, I testify there is none word of worship except Allah. Yeah. And to testify that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Yeah. And since you came from Christian background, I assume. No, I'm not Christian. Okay. Yeah. So no problem. So to testify then you will be official Muslim. Yeah. So you are ready. So that's why this is what we have agreed, Alex, earlier. So we said, if you are ready, you will be Muslim. That's what we have said. I agree with this, and I want to. I think I am ready. I just think that like, not today. Just why not today? Because I feel I need to. I still want to read a bit more on Islam, and okay. I feel, and I definitely agree with the teacher. Can I say to you something? This is not from you. This is from the Shaytan. Do you know why? Because the shaitan, you know the shaitan, the devil, yeah. will do a few things. Firstly, will, do, will try to mislead you from the guidance of God. If the shaitan is unable to do that, what will do the next step? Will make you to doubt about the truth. The next step, if you know that this is the truth, the next step, if you believe, believe the truth, will make you postpone it. Because the more you postpone, the more. And then will delude you, I need to learn more. What you believe, there are on earth, 1.8 billion people on earth believe in that concept, the same thing. Yeah? There is nothing much. And Islam is a journey of learning, which means, Islam is not saying to you, you need to learn everything, then you become Muslim. No. You learn as much as you have now, then you take that step, which is the Shahada, and then you learn more, and we are here to teach you, to educate you, and to be there for you, to answer your questions, and that's how it is. So it's a journey of learning. It is, but again, you're 14 years old, so I, what he's saying is true. We believe there is no reason for you to stop. But we don't want to force you. What we're saying is that the reason you don't want to accept it is not really a valid reason. And we don't believe it's coming from you, we believe it's coming from Satan. So it's at your discretion. We don't want to force you, but all we're saying is because we want the best for you, you got nothing to lose by accepting today. What we're saying is that, do you get what I'm trying to say? But I don't want to feel like you feel like pressure, I have to. So that's why. Because there is no. So that's why, my brother Alex, my brother Alex, trust me. You are ready. You are ready. You are ready to be Muslim. And by the way, we. In, in the past, we we live in something we, you know, as men, you know, yeah. when we give our word. Some people during the time of Muhammad peace be upon him, yeah. we used to give their word and they used to follow what they used to yeah. what they said. And yeah, now I do. I want to look at my mom, but also my mom said when I because my mom knows about me and Islam. Yeah. She said she wants me. To, she wants her to be here when I do it. When I okay. Do okay. No problem. Okay. Yeah. What 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 my suggestion to you? Yeah. No problem. Even if you take your shahada now, and later on she could come to our, we could come uh, to one of the mosques maybe, as well. Yeah, maybe, do she, it. maybe she wants to witness. It, I understand as a mother. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Look, if you want, I'll give you my number. Yeah. We can come to you. Yeah. So if your mom says, you know what, I want to be there. Yeah. yeah. Because I know it's a very big thing. Yeah. And it's the first time your mother, mother would love to be there. We understand. Yeah. We can exchange numbers. Yeah. And we can come to you if needed be. Like if you say, you know, it's, it's up to you. But yeah. what I'm saying is, because you mentioned your mom now. Yeah. And it's time we hold mothers in a great esteem. Yeah. yeah. And it's the first thing. And I don't want you to regret it, and then your mom's going to say, but I want yeah. it. Well, so, no problem. So, even, so, though, yeah. even though, as I, say, as I said to you, Yanni, if you are ready, you could have, you could go with this identity. Because Islam half of it is to know where you belong. You belong to Islam. You don't need, I will say to you. You are already Muslim, you are black, you could say there, but you will just take that step. Don't be delayed. If you know it, you know that you the say. If you, if you, yeah? if, well, how do you feel? Like, no, I think, I feel quite, well, good to think that, yeah, I'm sorry to learn about Islam. It's just I think, like, my mom, she would, she would start to be quite, that's fine. She no, would no, no, let, let's, yeah. let's leave it to your mom. That's it. I don't, I, I, yeah. She does know, she can do it. I know, I know, but um, the fact that you said your mom is <coughs> emphasized on it. Yeah. I wouldn't want to, we wouldn't want to, yeah. You can bring your mom next week, 
Yeah, I think uh, or or before whenever. Or before, look, look, you might take take our number. Yeah. Before we can come, you can meet us. It's totally up to you. Yeah. But if you've mentioned your mum, your mum wants to be there. I would want your mum to be there. Yeah, I mean, my mum said she would bring me here every either on Wednesday or Sunday. Okay, this is this is just Sundays. Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, she said Sunday as well. She said Wednesday. Okay, Wednesday, Wednesday if you way, want. There is a Regions Park. Yeah, when, yeah, Wednesday if you want. That's what I was gonna say. Wednesday if you want in the Regions Park Mosque. We can, we can not only take a shahada, we can we can give you a tour about the whole mosque. Yeah, yeah. So, we can do that. So, do you, take, want, do you want the sheikh's number? Do you, or do, mine? Come, do you want to come to the Jones Park? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. 100%. Do you have any more questions? Uh, no, that was it really. I okay, just think, so, I just think, yeah. bring mummy. Yeah. yeah, it'll be nice to meet her. Yeah, and you never know, you might be the reason your mum accepted stuff. Yeah. So, so that's very beautiful. Tell her, we, we're saying hi to her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if she's watching. So, we're here. So, yeah, Sunday. And don't delay it, yeah, because this will say, we're here every Sunday, Sheikh will be here next Sunday. Bring your mum, you can get tea, and we can talk. Yeah. And, and by the way, you are ready. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're ready, you're technically Muslim. So, technically. Yeah. so that's why what we are suggesting, even if you bring her, even before you, you know, she comes yeah. next week, I will suggest to you, you know, if you are ready, if you are ready, you know, do, do, do that. Because yeah. you never know. We don't guarantee our life, my brother. Yeah, and we will teach you how to pray, because we have got a new program, yeah. Salah Plus. We teach people like you how to pray. We give you a guided prayer mat. So, we are your service. Yeah, I mean, I do pray like at my school. Um, I've got a lot of my friends. Okay, okay. I do, I do pray with them. Okay, so you, you pray know. with them. Yeah, my friend. But I don't know exactly. Like okay. my friend. No, we'll, we'll yeah. teach you. We have yeah. a program where we, we spend the day with me, Sheikh yeah. Dawood, yeah. and the whole day we just go through it. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Get mummy. Yeah. Message me or the Sheikh Instagram. Yeah. 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 And it was good. You already are technically Muslim. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We yeah. know that already, but obviously because of mum. Yeah. We want to put mum. Yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. Wednesday or Sunday morning. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Sheikh, may Allah bless you. All right. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Look after yourself. Yeah. It was a pleasure. And tell your mum we said hi. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. 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 Thank you